All right, we're back with more One Piece. We are finishing Long Ring, Long Land. Uh, this is part two of that arc. We are doing One Piece. Remember to check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions of every reaction on the channel. And please leave a like on this video. It really does help boost the channel. Other than that, let's hop right on into it. We're finishing Long Ring, Long Land. That was crazy. I'm very excited. Let's do it. All right, we're back where we left off. Just finished the groggy ring. Zoro and Sanji came through. Goal, goal, goal. Yeah, it sucks. You're giving Choppy back. <laughs> Chopper is ecstatic. Hey, they're actually good sports. They just wanted to be entertained. I know. Like I said, good sports. And there's the final whistle. She tricked him. <laughs> Shout out the boys. Take back. That's Chopper. I mean, it makes sense. We had an overwhelming advantage in taking him, and we still didn't want him. That's how annoying he is. So, yeah, technically this is a game where other variables happen, so I'm very curious how this is going to go down. But it should be Luffy versus Foxy right here. Spin the cannon. Wherever it stops will be where... By sheer coincidence. Everything within 50 meters. So pretty much the entire ship. Yep. All right. Knock your opponent out of the circle. So even the water in that circle still counts. We just got to knock him out. Selling limited merchandise. I'm saying. He's like, these prices are outrageous. He's, like, He's a chef, though. He's like, I can go back home and make this for half the price. Sonny's like me, being forced to pay those ridiculous prices. Ooh. This is sick. The production value? Undefeated record. I wonder if it's due to any shenanigans. I'd just say 920 no. So this is like an actual boxing match. <laughs> They're, they got the walkouts and everything. Makes the afro, or if the afro makes the champion. Huh? With an afro? We got Black Luffy? Is he gonna be a brother? Muhammad Al Luffy? Monkey D. Tyson? Afro Luffy. Looks like he should be in from the 70s. All right, Muhammad Al Luffy or Monkey D. Tyson. Here we go. Shout out. Shout out, Chopper. So some people, I guess, were memeing in my comments and said, hey, this in this arc, we see Luffy take on one of his ultimate forms. I was assuming Super Saiyan, something like that, but this was even better. Bum, 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 bum. This is where we see the stall of <laughs> the dressing room, and we choose the afro. I mean, it's all entertainment, you know? It's all show. Usopp notices the afro almost immediately. 
like he's seeing fucking <laughs> a devil fruit for the first time. All right. I do like the tattoo. It gives me like ace vibes, honestly. <laughs> we got Usopp as our corner coach. Usopp being his corner man. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta get the perfect elevation for some great entertainment. Damn, this fucking ship is crazy. Immediately with a gum gum pistol. That is very strong. Yeah, but the rest of his arm is normal speed, so he's losing, like, control. It's so weird. Can't even make it come back because it's perpetually slowed for about 30 seconds, right? No wonder he's 920 and 0. His power is just super strong in this fight. Even his speech is slowed. Everything about him. He's just going to go. Nine tails rush because he's a fox. He thinks he's Kurama out here. He can't budge because he's slowed. After it's done, he's going to be like, do, 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 do. Good save. Oh my god, was that a crazy display of his powers, though? Same to me. I always knew it was dangerous, but... But it's more dangerous than I thought. Slow, slow. That's... And as probably as soon as we go down, the slow fall... Yep, runs out. That's dangerous as hell. And he is his ship, so he has a number of booby traps and other things that are probably just ready. That one's about to run out. Go full speed again. Yep. I can tell Oda's having a lot of fun with this fight. And if you are really good at your power, like if you have Mirio from My Hero level control of your power and you know how to time everything to a T like that, it's a very powerful Devil Fruit power, honestly. I, I didn't even notice him going along with them. That was cool. Very creative. It was purely a distraction. That was so creative. Luffy body the body. Yeah, I mean, it was all by coincidence, right? <laughs> Indeed it was. He's in the scouting, whatever you call that. What is the official term for that? Scouting tower? I don't know what it's called. Spotter's tower, maybe? I don't know. True power of a man worth 100 mil. Isn't it crazy? We've only been pirate as little as we have. And there's little time and we're already 100 mil over like crocodile or long. You know, <laughs> visually he's popping up everywhere in the smoke. Can we use a gum gum whip or something to clear out all the smoke? <laughs> he's able to tell because he immediately falls over when his feelings are hurt. Gum, he's gonna do the slow. Oh no, he caught him with that one. Nice, Luffy. That was all a distraction. Again, I can't lie, I looked up as well. Okay, this is cheap. We got like a conveyor belt of what? Out of the circle. Come on. Gum, gum. Get ourselves back up there. Nice. They're actually cheering for Luffy. They want a good match. Like I said, all they want is to be entertained. Yeah, 
this is like some Tom and Jerry level booby trap. Like, who fills an entire room with spikes just for something like this? Yeah. Good dodge. Good dodge again. Now he's hiding in the infirmary. We got more shenanigans to deal with. Yeah, oh, just punches through again. Foxy face transformation. Who's he gonna? <sighs> I'm pretty butthurt. Can't lie. The fact that yeah. Mm -hmm. The fact that he... really, Luffy, you think? I'm so butthurt. He didn't even figure it out. You're that guy's sister, huh? That is hilarious. At this point, it doesn't seem like it. It feels like we're in a Tom and Jerry or Scooby Doo fight. I see what you guys mean in the comments when you said uh, with this arc, Oda wanted to have a good time, wanted to have some genuine fun before we got any like serious, you know, like more death and like destruction because this is a really fun time. Come on, Luffy. Uh oh, back trap door is gonna lead right outside the water. Yeah, is it a cannon that's gonna send you in and fly you out of the 100 meter circle? Are stored up in the energy, and then it goes off all at once. Just like that, the Nine Tails rush makes him go flying back into that room, which is a. Uh... What is this room? Looks like we're in the Rancor pit from Jabba's palace. What are we, Gaku Ganji from JJK? Why is the rock and roll get so crazy? Oh, that's what he said when he's not a creature, because that would be against the rules. It's alive. This is like a mecha. He's uh, Code Geass now. Pilot Foxy. Gorilla Punch? Okay, are you serious now? Has had every single flaw. I don't know about that. Oh, that's actually not bad, though. If you can. It does reflect light. The gorilla puncher has, what, fire infused punches? What the hell? Okay, well, it's a little more intimidating than I thought. That's kind of annoying, too, dealing in, like, a mirrored room against all the light. Look at this. That's crazy. Dealing, dodging punches, the beams, everything. While it's getting closer to you, closing the gap, limiting the amount of space you can dodge. How are we going to deal with this? Oh, okay. Get rid of the immediate mirror, you know? Me either, honestly. I don't know how I didn't. Now it's not going to reflect in the same way at all. And now we close the gap, immediately deal with him, since he was distracted for a second. Great punch. Golden hits of the gorilla punch. This guy, Foxy, is OD. Okay, so we're not getting live commentary. No one knows how this is ending because it's going on inside the ship. And he has the fro. Come on. Duh. You don't know, Nami? Come on, it's a fro. See? They know. You don't know, Nami. It's all good. 
It looks like Foxy's in a victorious position. And it looks like Luffy's on the ground next to him. He's looking mighty victorious, but... Yeah? He's not out for the count yet. <laughs> I was about to say, isn't down for the count or out for the count like from boxing? Like that, that saying? So, I like that. It's the brotherly soul. Avro power. Slow whip? What? How does that even work? That's so strong. Just non-stop punches. But that's one thing that Luffy is. Out of all the characteristics, adjectives, he is persistent and he will never give up. Describes him the best. He said it's got to be the fro. He just... Is tanking it now. Oh, another one. Another wave. Yep. Thankfully, they have good ship rights. He's literally destroying his own ship. Like I said, if there's one word that describes this kid, it's persistent. He, if it's for his friends, especially, or someone he cares about, his dream, his goals, he will give up his life without hesitation so there's nothing that will stop him literally you're gonna have to kill him i feel like it's gonna hit the to be continued right here oh god damn that was a great episode on episode two the next part knockout <laughs> he's bringing a crowd to tears with his resolve and willpower shout out rob city he is part of willpower alum he's unsteady almost knocked out out of breath and he's still fighting he stands tall with a glimmer in his eye look at all them amazed all for his friends that's what i'm saying now this is a davy <laughs> fight back you're winning over the crowd man afro dude luffy 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 That's what happens when the majority of your crew is made up of people from other people's crews that you've won over. They're not easily swayed, but they are easily swayed. That is such an OP weapon. Good dodge. Never mind. He tried. Of course, what does this lever fucking do? Oh no, the goal. That's actually cool, Green Goblin. With the kinetic energy built up of a flying cannonball. He's moving to get you. Oh, Luffy's still catching him. And then the glider's still coming in with the cannonball underneath. Like I said, Foxy may be a goofy goober, and it might be like kind of comical, these fights. But in terms of the creativity with his power and his devil fruit, I am thoroughly enjoying that. Anyone with creative choreography with their power, I love. I love, I love, I love. Like Rock Lee, he could be unconscious standing up, and he'll still continue to stand up. What was just in front of him? What did he take? Megaton Ninetales Rush again. We got the Rush versus the Gatling. Oh, I actually love the way they animated that. Crazy how much my wrist can just fucking crack. A sprain fucks your shit up. Come on, Luffy. Oh, that's why we saw the light on Luffy's head. Because he picked up a piece of glass or a mirror. And he used that to bait him in. That's why. I was like, why are we seeing something reflect? That is very smart. I love when people have battle smarts. Shout out Luffy. Yeah, Foxy's like, mm. a mirror. 
A piece of the mirror from earlier. Yep. That was very creative visually to let the light shine off Luffy's head to give me a little piece of that puzzle. So really the fro won us this match. Rifle? Pistol? Flail. I just love how he got such a crazy impact. We're not going to see it for another like, couple seconds. He just walks away. He's so gangster. Foxy's going to go flying. Okay. Come on. Count down. <laughs> oh, no, but it seems fun. Two. One. Oh, my God. What is this, Smash Bros? For giving him a character outro for his victory? Luffy wins! New challenger! And Foxy's blasting off again! Outside the ring. Has been broken. 920 and 1. And with that being said, I don't think we're going to take any members from them. So I think we're going to have to take his Jolly Rogers. The straw hat, Luffy. Look at that. Look at that spinning celebration. Who's down to see Luffy in the MMA or a pro boxer? I'm down. See? I'm down. At least they're helpful. Oh, that is a flood of people. Jesus. Oh yeah, because he does have a devil fruit. I guess I didn't realize he's gonna sink and die. I can I didn't even process that. They do need to save him ASAP. That makes a lot more sense. And so just like that, the Davy fight back, the Davy back fight is uh over. We win. Afros really are powerful. I was never worried in the least. <laughs> What's, what's Foxy got to say to us? Hey, good game. Good sport. Not a poor loser. Appreciate that. I hope he doesn't try anything. Spiteful shoulder throw. Five hundred people? What? We're taking their Jolly Roger. Okay, so they're just gonna lose their Foxy logo. So Luffy's a we won, but Luffy's a very nice guy. <laughs> uh, that does somewhat hurt their pride as well. But <laughs> shout out Luffy. I like how they have a fox tail as like their rudder. Ah. Uh, shout out Ta Tanji. Shout out Shelly. Shout out Foxy Porsche. Hamburg and the rest of them. Hells yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, welcome to One Piece, brother. Arigato. Such a cute horse. Is this the time? Lo what is going on? The low tide time of the year in which the islands are... Or what's going on? Oh, it's a long mole. World champion of hole digging. What is this? His grandson? His son? Could it be? Are you Tanjit? Grandpa. Latanto. Shout out Latanto. Aw. Imagine you're on Twitter and you see one of those reunion videos of someone coming back from the military, you know? And, but instead they were just on stilts for 10 years. 
Yeah, I was like, Luffy should not kick down these bamboo trees, but I guess it was the best thing that ever happened to Tanji. Shout out, Luffy. Shout out, Luffy. Shout out, Shelly. Shout out, Latanta. We are officially leaving Long Ring Long Land. And now we need ourselves a shipwright, just like Foxy. Okay. Okay. All right, this should be the final part of Long Ring Longland. Which is what? Yeah, that is a very weird groove. Exactly. What is the archaeologist thinking of that? It's like Usopp's fucking cousin with that hair. A huge mushroom. That's definitely a guy. Navy HQ Admiral Aokiji. Oh, he's asleep. I don't want to pause it, but um, is this the Admiral that Jonathan referenced in GH? Because you guys were telling me in the end of Long Ring Long Land, or at least right before Water 7, a very important character is introduced. He said Ao Kiji. He's an admiral, Navy. He's asleep by himself on inhabited island. He is very tall. Robin's Robin rarely ever has reactions like this. Why is she falling down immediately? What the hell? Yeah, his aura was like, no, this is serious. Now, what the hell is going on here? All right, Navy HQ Admiral Aokiji. Aokiji. I don't know how to pronounce his name yet. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Robin is very stoic all the time. Very calm, cool, and collected no matter what scenario. So they're taking this very serious as am I. Navy Headquarters Admiral Aokiji. I don't know my military rankings personally. I'm a little ignorant. I need to know how high up an admiral is. Can you guys let me know? Never mind. They just let me know. Oh no, that was the one I mentioned. Akainu. I... Okay, hold on. Hold on. A I need Aokiji. Akainu. Was that which one was mentioned, guys? Akainu, and I gotta go back and get the last one. So these are the three admirals. Sengoku, we saw him. He's the one with the fucking goat. Oh, wow. Saint Sengoku with Doflamingo and all that? So he's like that. I didn't, I didn't know he was a gamer. I didn't know he had Riz. Yeah, he's just chilling here. He doesn't want to fight. Where do I recognize his voice actor? Oi, oi, Anna. Where do I recognize his voice actor? Lazy Justice. Oh, it's like that. Ooh, I'm just gonna take a little nap. Okay, we. W I would be happy to get on my way. The total bounty, yeah, because now that it's confirmed that Robin is with her and she's had that bounty since she was eight, right? What, 240, 239? My math is not the best. Luffy, please don't punch him! Please don't. Please. Do not fight this man. Right? Just let him be. Let's go. Let's go to Water 7. Were they scared of him? A wrecked ship. He is going to save him. He'll drop them off at the nearest inhabited island. 
Just because he's inherently your opponent, Luffy, doesn't necessarily mean he's like a really bad guy, you know? Like, no. <laughs> Welcome to reality. <laughs> you just got an actual reality fucking call. Good questions. Huh? If Robin says it, I believe it. She is not one to lie under any circumstances. So we're working with a marine? We're working with an admiral, Aokiji? What is going on? What's this devil fruit? He has to have one. There's no way. He can, he's Moses. He splits the sea. He's an earthbender. He brings up an entire earth. He's a beast tamer? He's got the beast piece quirk? What is he? Quirk? Beast piece fruit? Ice. Ice. A. Oh, he's an ice. Now I want to see him an ace. Oh my god. I assumed he had a devil fruit. Ice, one, is fire, no pun intended, but two, he is hella strong with his devil fruit. That shot is fucking gangster. Aokiji, with the breath afterwards, come on. I love the fucking sounds they're doing of like the, the chilled freezing... Wait, no, 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 no. Are you telling me he froze it all the way to the island? We need him against global warming. What the fuck? This might be one of the most characters I'm most intrigued for in the future. Lazy Justice Aokiji Marine Admiral Ice Devil Fruit Master. Talk about a title. Yeah. Yeah, talk about these guys' perception on the world. They ran into a Marine that saved their life. Is insanely powerful. They also ran into pirates with the Marine who gave them a bunch of food and took care of them. Shout out to everyone in this situation. What's he thinking now? I'm waiting. I'm drenched in sweat just like Luffy. Give me the details. Whoa, this took a tone turn immediately. The speed of your group's progress. You guys are different. That actually means a lot coming from him, I can't lie to you. Very true. At the age of eight, is that not crazy to think about? Going with the wind, going with the flow. I'm saying, I hope that's not true. Obviously, I love Robin. I really hope not. I really hope she never betrays us. All of them, wow. 
She betrays everyone she is involved with to secure her own future. I do like that answer from Luffy, though. The fact that he can turn his body into fucking ice. Oh my god, is he fucking strong. And then he just appears out of like an ice clone. Like he's from the land of the hidden mist. He's a Logia user. Makes sense. That is so fucking powerful. He is so big. It's so intimidating how big he is. He turns those into fucking ice shurikens or an ice sword. Just something as a foundation for the ice itself. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We're a team. You fuck with one of us, you fuck with all of us. And out of nowhere, I was hoping we'd be cool, but no, we're going against... I'll keep you right now. And just like that, he captures three of them in a very painful and very smart way. At once, I'm saying, our th three most powerful members besides Robin. Yeah, ice burns are crazy. Frostbite? Hangreen? No. He's frozen in a different way. I can't blame him. What the fuck? Is he captaining America, her? Is he killing Robin? What is he doing? This devil fruit is crazy. Look how big he is. This episode took such a turn in tone and fucking vibes. Went from being so chill to like 0 to 100 real fast. Yeah, if you hit her wrong, she could die so easily. He's going to say just joking. He's not going to do it. He's not gonna do it. He no, no way, no way, Jose. Oh my God! Great save, Luffy. Pulling the limbo on him. Great double save, Usopp. Evers, you one v one. Leave my friends alone. Look at that shot. A frozen rubber fist. I love the sounds they do. If you've ever heard something like mass freeze, like very fast, a huge amount of land water freeze, it makes a sound very similar to that. So I'm really enjoying that. Yeah. Can't warm her too hot. You have to... Wow, this is so crazy. I guess, yeah, as room temperature as lukewarm water as you can find, you know? Yeah, low temperatures. Bro, like I said, it's crazy how serious of a turn this episode took. Bro, this gets me so much more excited and also intimidated for the Marines. He's one of three admirals, and that's under Sengoku. And we still have fucking Bartholomew, Mihawk, Blackbeard, Whitebeard, Del Flamingo. Like, the amount of potential with the show is insane. All right, never mind. This is the start of their duel. Luffy goes for the quick dodge under. Battle axe, or not necessarily battle axe, we're kicking him right up. The coil for energy. I like that jump. Storm, gum gum storm. We're punching nothing, he's gone. No, like, it's like another NL. It's like dealing with NL except with ice. Like, if I thought NL was broken, it's like we were dealing with Zapdos, now we got Articuno. All right, cool. Who's the fireball? Ace? Is he fucking Moltres? What the fuck? Look how broken it he is. Yeah, he finally found out that was for stalling. Uh-huh. 
It was a mix of both. He did what he could to save his friends in the situation, but he also was hoping he could beat your ass. I'm intrigued about that. I was not expecting a Nico Robbins storyline to kind of continue to develop like this, you know? I was not expecting this in the slightest. I'm really enjoying this right now. It's so interesting how a Marine is warning us about this, too. Okay. Thank the Lord. But we owe you one. For what? Defeating Crocodile due to the things he was doing with Alabasta and his shenanigans? What's going on with Smoker? I want to see him again. When you guys said important character, I thought you guys were like gassing it a little bit. No, no, you guys are very, very honest. I appreciate you guys. That is a very important character. He's on a bicycle. I guess he just makes his little trail to whatever island he goes to and can, he doesn't need a ship. Their next destination is... I know there's an art called Marine Ford. See, that is crazy to me. That's how he travels from island to island. That is crazy to me. With the little bell. He might be one of the characters I'm most intrigued about in this entire show right now. Thank the Lord. It does feel like we've entered a different league of character after NL and Skypea. It, it it feels like we're in a whole other power league, and I'm so down. So after an exhausting, very eventful little bit, the Straw Hats are getting some rest, and Robin can do nothing but think about what just happened. Oh my god, was that crazy. Alright, that was Long Ring Long Land. So, in terms of the overall arc, uh, like I said, I'm most definitely going to be reading it alongside in the manga as well, so I can compare everything and anything that I see, because I'm very curious about everything that happened. Thoroughly enjoyed it, though. Um, everything with Foxy and the Davy Back fight, the Davy Back games, whatever it's called, was very enjoyable such a fun time but i completely get what you guys were saying when it comes to oda wanting to have some fun and adventure before getting into some serious stuff because like i said it took a tone shift when we came from saving these people having them walk four days on frozen ocean which that in and of itself i thought no don't get me started on how because it took him a second you could t it makes so much more sense he was sitting there building up that whole time while that sea monster was attacking him and he called it Ice Age. You know how powerful of a fucking move that has to be? But overall, he's easily one of the most characters I'm intrigued about in this entirety of the show, Aokiji. And we have Akainu and we have Kazaru, three admirals. Only people above them are the five world leaders and I'm assuming uh, Sengoku, Sengoku, Saint Sengoku. Oh my god, does this get me excited, especially about the Robin storyline we're going to get. We still need more flashbacks, we still need more backstory, we still need everything. So, oh my god, was that so good. Water 7 is right around the corner, and I can, I cannot wait. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. I am so excited. Um, please leave a like on the video. Check out that Patreon for early access uncuts. Uh, have a great day, Dapper Squad. I appreciate you all immensely. Peace out.